Good morning, folks. Today's May the 15th, 2022, on Lake of the Ozarks. We're going to do a little catfishing today. I'm down here at the marina. We stayed the night here. So we got to get an earlier start today. We've already got bait in the cooler. Uh, we caught some shad last night. So hang in there and see what this morning brings. This one over here is part of a this pole on the far left is some of that beefsteak scraps that you had. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm. And then the one that's the second one from the left that's getting bit it is a big body section of cut shad, a big piece, probably three inch by three inch. And the 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 other one in the middle here on the right side, that's the head piece of that big shad. Mm -hmm. And then the tail piece over there on the far right, out in the shallows. We had your chance. We had a fish. <laughs> really? I don't know. I'd say you're hung. No, probably not. Well, it felt like it. The worst part is I can't go over and do it. Well, you must have put it in the house because it never even... I'll let you do it. It felt like it gave me a head shake. That's that. That point's coming out there. Get it back if we can get to it. Okay. Pulling a tree up off the bottom. Is that what that was? That was see, given? See the brush? I can see the bottom. Yep. Well, it was a good place for bait. Big tree. Oh, shit. It's all tangled up. A fish. Oh, I thought there was a fish on there. Yep. Why don't you trade me places? Unless you think you can get him one week. Well, we I think it's a little flathead. It is. We got him. Let me give you some slack. Here, go around that. There you go. Uh, he never so much as even. He just put it in his mouth. He's not tangled yet. Yeah, he is. No, he's not. He's still oh, wrapped around that vine. Oh, he's in some great vines or something. Thank God that was there and not in the lake. <laughs> so we caught a little flathead. That's the first flathead of the year. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think I was cracking up, but you know. I've never seen a bite. Look at that little guy. Isn't he cute? He likes cut bait. And he took that big piece of cut bait. Oh, yeah. Then he went and wrapped himself in a brush pile. <laughs> Let him go back to play. We're going to move out a little bit. That was a good set. Water wasn't very deep. It was a good set. It just wasn't, wasn't the fish there that I was hoping for. That was a, yeah, we caught that flathead on the head. 
head sink. We was crappie fishing last night out here and the crappies up on the bank the blacks have moved up on the bank finally and we was fishing late after dark having a having a blast working the crappie over and lisa threw up there on the bank and hooked a i'm thinking it was a big flathead because he didn't give a lot of head shake and she couldn't do anything with him finally he broke her off he got around something and broke her off we'd like to see what it was though Hoovy's missing out today. Mm -hmm. All this bait land back here. Well, he's been eating. A nice little blue box fish. Make sure you hold it up to the camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at that. Just park that rock for me. Oh yeah. There we go. Mom, get up here. Fish on. Spider board. This one? Yep. Start reeling in. I'll get the planer board off for you. channel barely enough to pull that planter board around come out there little guy go back and grow up fish on fish on Not much of a fish.
box fish. Box fish. That's a good bite. Yep. I'm pretty sure he is. Yeah, he's on. He's just a little guy. Large bite. <laughs> Pontoon went drove. We drove up. Come on, where's the big guy at? That little channel. Calm down, you just threw my bait off. <laughs> Knucklehead. I'll take you off. He planned it that way. That way he can go back down there and find it needed. Right oh, yeah? Right here. Yeah. That's on that side over there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You got all that out of your system now? Let me turn you loose. Planter boards and it gets the, the lines out. For those of you who are not aware of what I'm doing here, I'm dragging for catfish. I've got two long lines right behind the boat, it's dragging straight back, and I have two on each side of the boat with planter boards. My rig today is just a modified Sandy Cooper. I've got my float rig on, and I use a slinky weight for dragging. With these planter boards, you don't want a lot of weight because these aren't real big planter boards. So between your bait and your weight, I've got just about it all you can put on one and get them to go out. So these planter boards, they take your line out beside the boat. So you're fishing a wider area. Well, I'm, I'm hoping you can see that one. So I'm just letting it out, letting the line out right now. Get it to where I want it, I'll lock it down. And about there. Lock it down. Shake it right over. That keeps everything spread apart. So far we've caught three or four fish on the planter boards and we caught one fish anchored at flathead, we caught him anchored up. And we caught one on this rod here, dragging straight behind the boat. So planter boards are effective, especially in shallow water because when you spook the fish, the boat spooks the fish, you do making noise in the motor and, and the fish scatter out to the sides and if you've got baits out there, you got a better chance to catch them. got this rod in, I'll take a minute and show you my setup.
course I got my big cat fever. Seven foot six, medium heavy action rod with an Abu Garcia 7000 reel. Lined with 40 pound cat max from Bass Pro. And on my leader, it's the same line. Uh, I haven't had a need. I'm not fishing a lot of structures, so I don't need a heavy leader line uh, to worry about rock nixing stuff. And then I've got this modified Sandy Cooper sliding rig. It's just on a piece of aquarium hose with my slinky weight that can move up and down the line. Now I've got a bead just below that to protect the knot. To a barrel swivel, float, a dot circle hook. That's my setup. And on two of these, I don't have floats. I don't remember which ones they are. I'm pretty. It's one of these drip. It's one of these planter boards. <clears throat> oh, I'm hung up. Nope, it come loose. You got fish on? Small one. Oh, another. Oh boy, that's that's a brush pile there. I don't know if you guys can see that with the reflection or not. Yeah, brush pile full of crappie is what that is. Yeah, which way is he coming in? No, do the other opposite. Bring that pole over here. Give me that short pole. Put it this way. There we go. Sorry about the filming, guys. I'm trying to get this thing fixed up here. Just that red clip. It's not on there. Catch that one, I guess I'll catch this one. Look at that. Big old fat channel. Yeah. It is. He didn't lay no mud. Boy, he's been eating too. Look at his belly. Ooh. Look here. We're hung on this one. Best fish of the day. He might have picked it up as soon as you started reeling. You need a net?
Bishop, Mama. I'll take the rod. You want grippers? Hold them up for the camera. Look at that. Best fish of the day. Well, guys, we're calling it a day. enjoyed the video if you did hit that like button for me please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell that'll tell you the next time i make a video y'all have a great day thanks for riding along with us